drama, scandal, and I love it. MTV's attempt at a real Housewives gay version premiered this weekend, The Real Friends of WeHo, which, side note, originally this was called The A-List, and it was a reboot of the Logo Show from many years ago. Before The Real Friends of WeHo, starring Todrick Hall, Brad Goreski, and some other people premiered, there was already a lot of backlash. And now, <laughs> the gays are all over social media attacking this show, MTV, and the cast members. But one in particular is not here for that. In fact, Todrick Hall is... Letting everybody have it back. Literally, oh, I've got something here. There we go. <laughs> Literally moments ago, Todd Drick took to social media to share a lot of thoughts. He writes, if the haters had watched the show, they would have seen an appearance from Emmy Award winner Beacon of the Black Queer Community and ally Issa Rae. Two beloved winners from the Drag Race franchise, Bob and Monet, and you'd have seen a black man coming out of the closet, which is very important and necessary for our community. The fact that our community is boycotting the show is a shame. Pause. People are boycotting the real friends of WeHo for many reasons, none of which are a shame. People are not wanting to watch because they don't feel compelled to. They don't like the casting. They didn't like the trailer that they saw. And really, at the end of the day, that is what is most important. If the show were great, people would watch it, I think. But from what I saw in that trailer, it seemed very boring. And I and others aren't going to watch a boring show just because gay people are in it. It needs to be good. Did you watch The Real Friends of WeHo? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let's get back to what Todrick says. He continues, Thanks for those who have are supporting the show. Drag Race wasn't polished its first season. Neither was Real Housewives. Queer audiences didn't support A-List, Noah's Ark, Fire Island, Bros, Prom, or Drag Race initially. They want 20 more minutes of a show. But instead of taking it up with the programming people who made these timing decisions, they're attacking us as if we had something to do with it. Reminder, a lot of gays are upset that Drag Race used to be 90 minutes, now it's 60 minutes to make room for the real friends of WeHo. I want the longer Drag Race episodes as well, Todrick says, so we're on the same team. But maybe the episodes are shortened because MTV famously reruns its shows in one-hour segments, ultimately giving all the queens more airtime and longevity than 20 more minutes once on television. Would you rather throw a tantrum? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Seems like Todd Drake's tone is pointed and he's about to belittle some other gay people. I, I should have helped him with this. I should have helped him. <laughs> <clears throat> Would you rather throw a tantrum for 20 minutes more of a show or give the queens and their looks that they spent a fortune on play 80 times through the year because... It fits MTV's programming schedule and gives the girls a platform and access they might not have had if the show were 20 minutes longer and unable to be jenga in between Catfish and insert another non-LGBTQ plus show that we're not boycotting. Maybe this is better for the long run to give the queens more visibility and have the show be syndicated and playing more consistently. This is honestly not a bad look of this is the idea MTV was is going for. Either way, we have to know that queer people attacking our queer cast is not woke, not progressive, and not going to change the situation. So it's a waste of time. Wake up, people. We are smarter than this. Oh, no. Oh, no. He just called everybody criticizing the real friends of WeHo show. Dumb. Oh, no. That's not a smart thing to say. <sighs> 
let's continue. Todrick signs off by saying, proud of our sleek, polished first episode and looking forward to next week's episode, but he still has a lot more to say. In a series of slides, he adds, after last night's premiere of The Real Friends of WeHo, I saw a lot of comments saying, we don't want to see a bunch of rich, fit, entitled, privileged gay men, which begs the question, why are we thrilled to watch rich Kardashians or real housewives, but we only want to watch gays be underdogs, not well off, not too confident. Let's get into the weeds, real talk. All right, he brings up a solid point here. And... He also says there's a video out now from last night going semi-viral from a local gay club turning off our show and the crowd rejoicing and cheering as if they just turned Trump off. A black actor is telling his incredible of coming out, his incredible story of coming out, and people are rooting and praying for it to fail. There are very real issues happening for gay and trans people right now. We are literally fighting ourselves. Yeah, I get that. But is your show talking about the real issues happening for gay and trans people right now? No. Not that I'm aware of. And your show doesn't even have a trans person. Anyways... Todrick continues, could our ensemble of six be more diverse? Absolutely. But this points to a bigger issue. There isn't a large pool of gay celebs to begin with. I would have loved to have been on that show. I wasn't asked. And I know plenty of other people that could have been on that show. Okay. They'd need to live in L.A., be available, have time, and a desire to do the show. I would have, uh, me, but why don't we hold Real Housewives to this standard? Is there even one city in the franchise that is as diverse as our cast is from its gigantic pool of women it can choose from? Anyways, again, let's finish things with the last slide. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I'm just... Fun fact! The average annual earning for gay men in the U.S. is $59,618 compared to $57,032 for straight men. We are successful, we work hard, and we deserve to see ourselves thriving on TV. And we are. You're not breaking any new ground. You're not doing anything revolutionary. You're not curing cancer. What? I mean, does Todrick really believe all of this hype that he is trying to spoon feed us? I don't think he's helping himself or his cause or our cause, really, but himself mainly. I, I know he's trying to get us talking and possibly change public perception of him. And I don't think it's working. Do you? Let me know in the comments section your thoughts on all of this. <laughs>